<sighs> so, hello everybody, what is going on dudes, it is Kiba Shimaki here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal. Last time, well, we went ahead and made way through Union Cave, arrived to Azalea Town, and took care, took care of, and took out Team Rocket. This time, well, I didn't step forward, I didn't face these trainers. We have the Azalea Town Gym. Oh man, we got quite the onslaught of trainers. Amy, hi! Are you challenging the leader? No way! Well, we have ourselves a battle with gym trainers everywhere. So let's take it on. We have twins, Amy and May. Though they share the same Pokemon, this ain't no double battle. We have a bug type gym. So, yeah, this is definitely quite different. Gonna be going in with, um, K4, of course, and we're gonna be doing all that we can, so we'll be all set. Um, don't know if Kaipura will be in the lead for the majority of this gym. I kind of hope so, but we will see what happens. Yeah, we're going to have an onslaught of battles in this one. But hey, it's different from every other one, and I kind of just wanted to show it off. The only reason why I skipped out on the first one was because it's quite, yeah, it's pretty easy to access right off the bat, and you don't really have to worry about much when facing the trainers. There we go. We took care of one of them. Oh, goodness. Yep. Thank you for the money. Let's go. Let's head over here, and let's take on this other trainer. Uh, bug Pokemon are cool and tough. I'll prove it to you. Eh, we'll see about that. No, I'm I actually do like a small handful of um, Bug-type Pokemon, because some of them are actually really cool. One of them being Scizor. Scizor, I think, is really cool. Bug-Steel-type, which is very sturdy and very strong. And, fortunately, it's not... Well, actually, I think it might be in this game, but it does take a while to get it. Um, what else? What's another Bug-type that I honestly really like? I guess... Ariados, Ariados is honestly really cool. It's a, even though if you if you have arachnophobia, I would I do apologize for you, but um, Ariados I think is really cool. It's a really interesting um, Pokemon. It's a giant bug, just giant spider, which is pretty cool. Um, bug poison type, which is awesome. But aside from that, there we go. Take care of that one. We got a Weedle. Let's take it on. Let's take care of it. Yeah, excuse me. There we go, it's gonna use poison stink. Don't get poisoned, please. What? There we go, she got a swing, we'll be fine. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Take care of it. Boom, and there we go. Thank you very much. There we go, we're all good, let's head over here, and there are no trainers right here, there is another one right here, but we're gonna skip out on you and take care of this one. Hello there! You saved all the Slowpoke? Ooh, you are mighty. My grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough too. I'm guessing you guys were holed up in here the whole time that I had to do that, so... Kinda funny, but... Oh well. Um, there we go, let's take on the bug catcher. he's got a Parass. Pretty strong, level 13 Parass. Oh goodness, that is a really good Agent Slave right there. <laughs> if you ask me, it's a pretty good HM slave. If you're looking for one, don't look that much further because we'll be able to get one soon. And hey, a critical it took it down in one fell swoop like I knew it was going to do anyways. There we go. Urgh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got sweet. Don't worry about it. Take on this trainer. Book Pokemon evolve young, so they get stronger that much faster. Yeah, but then after like 10, 15 levels, they become literally the weakest things ever and they get smacked around pretty quickly. Uh, yeah. Uh, bug types are pretty okay, though they do get knocked around pretty quickly. There you go. Let's go on, let's swing, let's use Peck, because it's super effective. We take it down in one hit, just like I hoped for. We are good! There you go. Oh, just shy of a level up, that's kind of infuriating. And he's sending out Beedrill. Okay, so this guy is quite interesting. He has the full, uh... Weedle line. He has both the beginning Weedle, the middle Kakuna, and the end Beedrill. Which is really interesting, honestly. Uh, seeing a trainer using all three stages, or at least seeing a trainer with the final form for once, I think it's pretty cool, because you rarely ever see that. There we go. It's just Peck. Okay. Thank you for not doing so many times. Just Peck, take care of it. And we are good. Super effective, of course. And bam, K4 is now level 17, along with our good buddy Riptide. Got one more, of course, it's a Kakuna. Let's go ahead and let's swap over to Riptide and have him take care of it. We should be 
good. We should be all well. No, I said good like that, but whatever. Do 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 do. Uh, let's go ahead and use water gun. I think water gun will do some good damage. I don't know if it's resistant. I don't remember off the top of my head. Okay, it's not. It's not. So it's neutral damage. That's fine then. Use water gun. It'll do some good continuous damage. Use water gun once more, and bam! That hardened ain't gonna help you, buddy. Boom! Down it goes, just like that. There we go. Just evolving isn't enough. Hell, it definitely isn't. You could have a stronger Pokemon early on, but it could still be terrible. There you go. Let's move K4 to the back. Let's use a potion, because why not? Ah, so we're close. That's fine. Uh, let me go ahead and let me give this berry to k because I think k is going to get the most use out of it. And let us step forward to take on the gym leader. Of course, I want to save, because it'll be really good. There you go, save. And boom, things are looking pretty good. Save the game, of course. Let's talk with the gym leader. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. We have ourselves a battle with the second gym leader already. Leader Bugsy. Bugsy starts off with a Metapod, level 14, pure bug type, with the moves Tackle, String Shot, and Hearted. These uh, his first two Pokemon send it starting up, they are kind of special. They don't have just Harden. They are the middle evolutions. They could be the fully evolved form, but they are just the middle evolutions. They are fairly strong. They got Harden, of course, but um, they do do some decent work. Let's go ahead and let's just keep spraying Water Gun since it can't do much. String Shot is gonna kind of help it in some turn because it'll make us slower but I don't think it'll be doing much and there we go down goes his first Pokemon just like that down goes the Metapod there we go 216 experience pretty good next up is Kakuna Kakuna is also level 14 bug poison type with the moves poison sting string sh poison sting string shot and hearted same move set just swapped out tackle for poison sting and it has the additional bug typing or poison typing Nothing different all that much here. We'll probably use Harden first turn and then either go for Poison Sting or String Attack second turn. Doesn't do um, all that much damage. Just hope you don't get poisoned if you're sent. I have one main star for this. And you can definitely tell the reason why I said that um, Chikorita will be struggling right off the bat. Chikorita, being a pure grass type, is completely weak to bug type Pokemon. And this Kakuna, armed with Poison Sting and its last Pokemon, armed with a bug type move. Can really be very detrimental but here we go we see his last pokemon it is scyther and i'm going straight to cape horror for this scyther is level 16 bug flying type with the moves fury cutter quick attack and leer main thing that the scyther is going to be doing is setting up with leer and then probably spamming fury attack to no end because fury attack as the more it hits will be doing more damage over time so it can do two hp one turn then four then eight 16 and then basically KO you every single turn so yeah the reason why this thing can be dangerous is because of how quickly it can quite literally set up and take you down it is extremely dangerous though if he decides to use a different move in turn like that where you use fear cutter then quick attack you really don't have much to worry about he's low on HP I'm using up my berry there we go he's peck once more and I would have thought he was used the, he had, would have thought he used the po he would have used the potion but he changed his mind and down goes Scyther just like that. And we are all good. k hits level 18, which is awesome. There we go. Take care of Bugsy and we get our next gym badge. Whoa, amazing. You're an expert on Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. There we go. Get ourselves our second badge from the kid Bugsy. It is the Hive badge, which is awesome. Do you know, do you know the benefits of the Hive badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that no cuts will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. We get ourselves Team 49, which is, as you can probably guess, his signature move, Fury Cutter. It contains Fury Cutter. If you don't miss, you get stronger every turn. The longer your battle goes, the better it gets. Isn't that great? I discovered it. Hmm, nice. We actually get to hear the discovery of Pokemon moves, which is really interesting. But aside from that, we went ahead and won that gym battle. 
which is awesome. We see Slowpokes completely covering uh, what is that of uh, Azalea Town, which is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and let's rush off to heal, because I definitely need that. There we go. Keep on moving. Let's move quickly. Pignature. Okay. I'm fine. Huh? Wrong number? Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's a little off chance. You have to hear a little personality from these characters. Sometimes they call the wrong number, or sometimes they just talk about their lives. Which is really cool. Which is why I recommend you kind of do, kind of, uh, recruiting them. Or get into numbers, because hey, you get a little bit of side story along with your main story, which is uh, I think is pretty cool. But aside from that, so there we go. And before we head off to the west, I say we go back to Slowpoke Well, because I want to show you something real quick. If we check the rear wall right here, we get ourselves a full heal, which will heal any status ailment that um, uh, is afflicting our Pokemon. So be sure to get that before we get a move on. And now if we head off to the left, be prepared. Because as soon as we step past this point, there is an ambush. Look who it is. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! Quit lying. You're not joking. You're not joking? But let's see how good you are. We get a battle from our rival, Silver. He's back, he got his second gym badge as well, and he's going in. He starts off with... A Ghastly, across every team this is the same. Ghastly is level 12, Ghost Poison type with the moves Hypnosis, Lick, and Spite. The main thing that this Ghastly will be doing is just using Lick or Hypnosis to, Hypnosis to put you to sleep, Lick to paralyze you, and then probably using Spite um, to lower the power points of any move that you just used, or Lick to do some good damage. Yeah, like I said, he's going to be going for Hypnosis non-stop, he's going to really try to make it hard for us to hit him, but fortunately... We go ahead and we hit it with the water gun again and hopefully hit it a third time. That's fine. We ain't gonna take too much damage from that. Oh, we're gonna get paralyzed though, unfortunately. And of course I'm fully paralyzed, because why not? It's gonna use lick again, it's just gonna be doing low damage, so we ain't got nothing to worry about. Down it goes. Just like that, we are all good. Ah, there we go. And boom, we hit level 18, which is awesome. Anything special have been no. All right, cool. Next up is his starter for me, at least. His starter for me is Bayleaf, level 16, pure grass type. Evolved from Chikorita to Bayleaf at level 14, um, or no, 16, with the moves Growl, Razor Leaf, Reflect, and Poison Powder. Main thing that this Bayleaf does is set up with Reflect, probably use Growl a few times, and use Poison Powder to just get continuous damage, and then use Razor Leaf for consistent damage in a, in a way. If um, you had went ahead and chosen Cyndaquil, he would have a Croconaw level 16, which is impossible since um, Totodile evolves into Croconaw, Croconaw at level 18. Croconaw is level 16, pure water type with the move Scratch, Leer, Rage, and Water Gun, so fairly the same moveset that I'm rocking right now. And if you went with Chikorita, he would have a Quilava level 16, evolved at level 14, with the move with, uh, Pure Fire type with the move Tackle, Leer, Smokescreen, and Ember. Uh, somewhat of a difference, nothing too major, but yeah, kind of want to watch out for that. Other than that, his other two Pokemon will pretty, yeah, will be pretty much the same across all teams. So I'm going to use Peck, and there we go. That should do it. 483 experience, that's a pretty good amount. There we go, and next up is his Zubats. I think I'm going to keep Kipora in, because Kipora is a safer bet. Zubats! It's level 14! It's level 14, Poison Flying type with the moves Leech Life, Supersonic, and Bite. Main thing that this uh, Zubat will be trying to do, or main thing that your rival will try to do with the Zubat is probably go for Supersonic to confuse you, and then wail on you with Bite, and if times get tough, it will use Leech Seed to recover its health. Uh, but aside from that, we can see that we're doing pretty well, we're keeping our damage consistent, and we should be done with this battle in no time. We're falling low on HP, but we should be okay. There we go. Use that peck, and that will do it. Give ourselves a little bit of experience, but there we go. Defeated Silver. Humph. <laughs> Useless Pokemon. Listen, you. You only won because my Pokemon were weak. Ah, well, I guess you could say that, but with the help of our rival, we see that Riptide is evolving. And boom, just like that, we have ourselves... A Croconaw! Which is pretty awesome. There 
we go. Thank you. Let's see what he has to say. I hate the week. Pokemon trainers. Pokemon trainers. It doesn't matter who or what. I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They act big and tough in a group. But get them alone, and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. A weakling like you is only is only a distraction. Well, we see the true colors of what Silver aims to be, or what it aims to reach. We see that now uh, Crocodile or Riptide has more HP, and this is what his stats are looking like. Pretty good in attack and defense. Uh, highest second, well, third highest is going to be his speed, so he's not too slow, but not too fast either. Spitak and Spideff are a little bit on the lackluster side, but hey, that's kind of expected of my boy Crocodile. That is it though, we ain't got much to worry about. Let's go and heal. Go ahead and heal. Let's get ready uh, to head back and see what uh, what lies ahead. Because we never went ahead, we never checked out what there was. But we certainly have something to see. There we go. Fully healed, thank you. And now we can move on back, or move on forward to the next area. Check this and it says, Helix Forest. Enter through the gates. We have our next area, and oh man, there are quite a bit of Pokemon in here. Seriously. If you were wondering where you'd find your bug types, here it is. As well as the Pokemon that I've been waiting for, Harass. You can definitely find it here, but as for the new encounters, there are quite a few, though I'll give it a moment before we start going over it. Over them. So on, let's just keep on moving and get away safely. Let's talk with this kid. What do you gotta say? Oh man, my boss is gonna be steaming. The farfetch that cuts trees for charcoal took off on me. I can't go looking for it here in the Helix Forest. It's too big, dark, and scary for me. Uh, he just says the same thing, so we kind of get an idea of what we're supposed to do next. Um, well, there ain't much else to do except to step forward and to try and find it. We see, there it is. It's the missing Pokemon, Farfetch. Wah! And all it's gonna do is flee as long as we attack it from the front. So what we gotta do is we gotta approach it from the back. But as we do so, I might as well go over the encounters. Of course, you can find yourselves Caterpies and Weedles. You can also find their evolved forms Kakuna and Metapod. Though they are a bit rarer. Um, what else you can find is Oddish. If you didn't want to catch Bellsprout over by Violet City, you can go ahead and find yourself an Oddish. Oddish is also a grass poison type. Um, its moveset is semi-limited, kind of out there with what it does. Uh, really meant to set up any powders and things like that. Check around and see if there's anything hidden. Nope. Uh, set up any powders and then just weaken the opponent's Pokemon and make it easier for you to catch them or to take them down. Goes, use that. Nope, never mind, wrong way. Um, but Oddish as a Pokemon, I believe it revolves around level 22, 25, I don't know, somewhere around that area. And then it has two new, has two evolutions from there. Gloom can evolve to become the special attacker Vileplume through a Leaf Stone. Um, Vileplume is a Pokemon special attacker, uh, fairly bulky in defense, but uh, really meant to be a special attacker overall and lay down some powders and do some good damage. Um, as for the other evolution, which is introduced in this game, you have yourself. Um, Bellossum, which is a special defensive Pokemon and really meant to kind of tank and not sustain too much damage itself. There we go, let's just run from this, ain't gonna worry about it. I should probably set up a repel if we're being honest, but we're gonna be out of here right now, so I'm cool with it. Um, but yeah, um, Gloom falls into either Vileplume through a Leaf Stone or into Bellossum through a Sunstone, which is new to this game as well. Uh, but also some special defense oriented, uh, a lot meant to be more bulky and stall out the opponents if needed. But let's see what this kid has to say. Wow, thanks a whole bunch. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a, a badge. That's pretty bad, dude. Ah, my Farfetch'd. He found it for you, kid. He found it for us, kid. Without it, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. We get ourselves HMO1 Cuts. That's the cut agent. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have a gym badge from Azalea to use it. We see that we do. See what he has to say. Do you want a parent a charcoal maker with me? I do. We'll be first rate in ten years. 
Nice. Anything else to say? Wow, thanks a bunch. Yeah, it just says the same thing. So we see that now we have cut to our available. Do you want to do you want to apprentice as a charcoal maker with me? You'll be the first rate in ten years. Well, we see that we can now use cuts. If you have a Pokemon that can use it, there you go. But a Pokemon that can help us a lot is gonna be Harass. Since it can use Flash and Cut, both are quite useful and both are very needed. You can find them right here. You can find them right here in this um, in the Elix Forest, though he's a bit rare to find. Um but as I run around hoping to find it, we might as well go over a few other things. Briefly, come on. Anything, any encounters at all? Jeez. Um, aside from Paras, uh, what else is here? What else is here? You can encounter late at night some Psyducks. Actually, no, I'll go over Venonat instead. Venonat shows up a lot sooner. Venonat is a lot more apparent at night. What Venonat does is it a bug poison type. Um, really meant to be a really high special attacker. Very speedy, pretty bulky, not super bulky, but is a pretty good special attacker. Can wall out a few things and can do some good damage. Aside from that, you also have yourself Paras. Paras is a Pokemon. Um, is really meant to be an HM slave. It is a bug grass type, so times four weakness to flying and fire, unfortunately. However, it is quite um, decent. Uh, has a special move Spore to its ability. Not at the moment, but we'll take some time when it evolves into Parasect. Um, Paras is a Pokemon. It's a really good HM slave, which is kind of why I'm looking around for it, so I hope I can find it. Uh, but aside from that, you also have yourself uh, Psyduck. If you're looking for a new water type, look no further in this derp of a Pokemon. Psyduck evolves into Golduck at level 23 or 30, I think. I think it was 30. Um, but Psyduck as a Pokemon is a pure water type, pretty bulky, becomes an incredible special attacker, learning moves like Psychic, um, though it kind of is lackluster in speed and defenses. So. It's a bit fragile, but it's still pretty bulky, makes some good work, and does some good damage. Uh, but as I run around trying to find this Paras, hopefully I can find it soon, I think I'm going to call it here. There is still a few items we can get back in Azalea now that we have that, and kind of have to go back to Violet City because there's an item there that we can obtain now with the help of um, cuts. So off screen, I'm going to catch us a Paras. And yeah, that's going to be it for now. Or maybe I'll cut back to when I finally get one. But that's it for now. I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you all did enjoy. If you did, please show me some love and support. Hit that like button. Comment down below what you all enjoyed. I certainly would love to see. Share with anybody and everybody you think might enjoy this type of gameplay or commentary. And if you're out all new, certainly subscribe. But that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all did enjoy. And I will, of course, be seeing all you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.